Hey guys, so today I am at the Sleepy Hollow Cemetery in Sleepy Hollow. Gonna do a little bit of walking around, um, try to find Washington Irving's grave, the writer of Sleepy Hollow. They have a couple other people buried in here, but I'm not really sure who they are. Um, I think they said they have like the, the uh, Headless Horseman Bridge, but it's not like the original. So we're gonna look, all, look at all of that stuff and yeah, just show you guys around. Came to Scotland, Andrew Carnegie came to America in 1848 and rose from a factory bobbin boy to become one of the world's most successful industrialists. His legacy in his philanthropy and the more than 20 institutions he endowed, their work continues in his name. The only one I know is Carnegie Hall. That's, that's it. So this is the Headless Horseman Bridge. Well, they said it's not the original. Uh, so it's like the bridge, but it's not the bridge, <laughs> I guess. Around 1890, Sleepy Hollow Cemetery expanded to the east side of the river, requiring a bridge across the stream. Although it is not intended to replicate the bridge where Ichabod Crane lost his race with the Headless Horseman, its rustic appearance makes it a popular proxy among visitors. Appropriately, its rough-hewn boards clatter like hoofbeats under the wheels of automobiles. The Headless Horseman's been here. I'm a little bit scared right now.
William Avery Rockefeller mausoleum. With his older brother John D. Rockefeller was a partner in Standard Oil. Today's ExxonMobil Corporation is a direct descendant of the Rockefeller's Standard Oil, comp comprised of the former Standard Oil of New Jersey Exxon and former Standard Oil Company of New York Mobile. So is this like Rockefeller Center, like in New York? Yeah, guy? guy. Yeah. Huh. So you have made us for yourself, and our heart shall never be at rest until at last it rests in you. So this is the tombstone for Katrina Van Tassel, who was the, one of the characters in Sleepy Hollow, but this must have been where the guy got the name for the idea for the book. Not like she was the actual real person, the story's fake, but he took the name from this tombstone in the uh, Sleepy Hollow cemetery. Is what's, this, what's the name of this cemetery? It's attached to the it's Sleepy Hollow. the churchyard. Hall. So this is the churchyard cemetery um, for the Sleepy Hollow church. It's hard to read. So this is Washington Irving's grave, the writer of Sleepy Hollow. He's right outside the uh, churchyard, graveyard, cemetery area. Alright, so this is supposedly the mansion that Dark Shadows, a lot of it was filmed here. What is the name of this mansion? Lynnhurst. The Winhurst. Lynnhurst. Lynnhurst Mansion, I'm sorry. We wanted to do a tour, but it's closed, unfortunately, um, on certain days of the week. And we just happened to be here on the, one of the days of the week that it's closed. So we're just going to walk around and peek in the windows a little bit. This really stinks. It looks like so beautiful and decorated inside, like Christmassy, and we like can't see anything.
Thank you.